Well, now take a look at this. One of the strangest sights you'll see floating on the waters of our state. A gigantic, what do you think it is? Radar. Atop a floating platform, slowly making its way to Seattle for repairs. King 5's Gary Chinnam is live in Port Townsend, where that platform is catching a lot of second glances. Gary. Dennis and Dean, it is a sea-based X-band radar system, or SBR, and it passed by these Fort Warden beaches just a short time ago. They're empty now, but they were crowded with a lot of people, and many of them who knew it were coming were shocked by the size of this thing. It seemed to glide along through the Strait of Juan de Fuca like a giant egg on a floating nest. You could catch a glimpse of it from neighborhoods and coastal cities. You could see it dwarf a proud lighthouse. And for families exploring the relics of a past military era, it provided a stark introduction into modern technology. It was something I just want, I, indescribable. I wanted to know what it was, had no idea what it was. What it is, is a sea-based missile defense system, a radar globe plopped down on an oil rig platform that can self-propel itself into whatever position it's needed. Right now, it needs repairs at a Seattle shipyard, and it's generating a giant wake and a lot of interest and rumors as it makes its way. My mother called me and said that there was a observed uh, research platform coming by. I think it's strange to see such an odd man-made object floating through the water. <laughs> called my brother and told him to bring down his golf clubs. <laughs> it's all teed up, huh? It's all teed up. A lot of people having some fun with this thing, but it also has generated its share of controversy. People have been upset when this thing has gone by them. It obviously generates a lot of power, worried about what those waves might do to them. The military assures us while it's in port in Seattle, which won't be for very long for those repairs, it will never be turned on, and then it will be out of here before you know it and back on its way to Alaska. Reporting live from Port Townsend, Gary Chittam, King 5 News. Thank you, Gary.